Hi folks, Pete here for Mashton's Cars. Today we are looking around a 2005 Land Cruiser. This is a uh, LC4 model, they would call it. Uh, as you can see, very big, very smart looking 4x4. These are very rugged cars. They've got a fantastic reputation for reliability. This 2005 model has only had three owners from new and um, it's only 85,000 miles, so very, very low mileage for a car that's 16 years old. Uh, Land, uh, Land Cruisers in general, they've just got a fantastic reputation for reliability and sturdiness. Um, this particular car's got the three litre turbo diesel four cylinder engine. Um, and while these cars are not as refined or as sporty as an X5 or a Range Rover Sport, they are incredibly well engineered. Um, the old phrase goes that if you want to go into the woods or the, the desert, take a Land Rover, but if you want to come back out again, take a Land Cruiser. And whilst I don't 100% agree with that, because I do have a bit of a soft spot for Land Rovers myself, um, and if they're well maintained, I think they can be reliable. There's no denying that in terms of its um, its reputation for sturdiness and reliability, these Toyotas are the king. They really are the daddy of, of the 4x4s. So I'm going to take you around it quickly and, and just show you a couple of bits about it. The, um, the car's in really, really good condition for a car that's, um, that's 16 years old. The two bits... Um, Two little marks that I've seen on the car are a very small scratch by here. It looks like someone's caught it to be honest with you when they were when they were filling the car up perhaps with a petrol pump. And the fact that the one wheel here has got a little bit of uh, corrosion on it, um, which is common on Toyota wheels for some reason. Now I can get that refurbished, but at the same time I'm very well aware that the person buying this car is probably not going to be too worried about scuffed alloy wheels. This is going to be a working vehicle potentially for someone. But I can get that done for you if you want to at very little extra cost. So let me know if it's something that you want doing. The, the Land Cruiser though is big, rugged, brilliant at towing. It can tow three and a half ton. It's got seven seats. Again, a couple of chips on that wheel there, look. Um, this one's got the side steps fitted to it as well, which look really good. And low mileage runs like this, they, they are hard to come by. So it's actually quite a rare find, this car is, uh, which is the reason why I've got it. I'm going to show you inside the car very quickly. I know I said that they're not as refined as an X5 or a, or a Range Rover, but they have got a nice spec to them. <coughs> this particular car has got the full lever interior has got electric seats and these front seats are heated on it. So it's got a really nice um, sort of design layout. The dashboard's nice and simple, but uh, that's all the better really in a four x four. It's not cluttered and you can see where everything is easily enough on it. It's, a, it's an automatic gearbox on this car as well. Uh, very smooth shift on it. If we have a look in the back of it, you can see there's just acres and acres of space. It's got the heavy duty rubber mats, which are right through the car. Uh, the lever in the back doesn't look like it's ever even been sat on, to be honest with you. It's in very, very good condition here. Um, I think that it's probably, you know, mostly been the front seats that are used. But these don't tend to wear very much anyway. Um, if we just pull a lever here, this folds forward like that. And then we've got a huge um, bench in the back as well. The car is actually technically an eight-seater because it has got an extra belt there in the middle in the back as well. So you've got eight seat capabilities in the Land Cruiser. Not many cars have got that. So that's something that I would, well, is always been a massive selling point on these cars for me. I can't put that down with one hand, I don't think. Let me just try. Yeah, you need two hands on a Land Cruiser to put the seat down. Which is a trifle annoying, but it's not often that you'd be filming yourself doing it, is it? So, um, Electric sunroof as well, just to show you what boost space we have got. Now, bear in mind, I've got the seats down at the minute. The back row of seats do fold up um, sideways. They, they basically fold into the sides of the vehicle. I'm not going to do that while I'm on camera because that'll be a disaster, me doing that. But there is still a reasonable amount of space behind them. So you could probably get, you know, a fair bit of shopping in there. And you can fold these down uh, if you need to, to create a colossal size boot you can even then tumble that middle row forward and have a massive van like carrying capacity in the rear 
So the main thing with the Land Cruiser is it is a traditional 4x4. This is a proper go-anywhere vehicle with a separate chassis. It's the complete opposite of these modern school-run SUVs that you see. Um, this is a car that you could literally take to the outback and quite happily come out the other side. It's got low ratio gears as well, which are in that uh, in that little selector there. Um, it's also got a descent control on it, similar to what you get on a Land Rover, and it's got a centre diff lock uh, switch, which is just down there as well. You can probably just about see that. Um, climate control, air conditioning, a slightly old fashioned looking Toyota uh, CD stereo, but it does the job perfectly well. Um, let's just start this vehicle up and uh, it's not a show about this car, it's, it's all about good engineering um, that is built to last. With 85,000 miles on it, this car is barely run in. So there you have it. It's a four cylinder, so it's got a bit of a rumble to it. Um, you know, it's not as sweet sounding perhaps as a, as a nice V8 Range Rover, but I'll tell you now, I know which one actually I'd trust more if on a on a on a long journey. These Land Cruisers they don't tend to suffer with any issues whatsoever, apart from corrosion on the alloy wheels. And just make sure that the the underside of the chassis is going to have some surface rust on it, but make sure that it's relatively solid, which which this one is. We had it checked over on the ramp before uh, before we did the advert. So yeah. Um, not much more to tell you really, I mean I'm going to supply the car with a brand new MOT on it and um, I'll make sure that it's all um, ready to rock for anyone and we can deliver it anywhere in the country. Um, if you are interested in the car please give me a call, my name is Pete, my number is 079 32 873 646 and you can see me, there we go. So give me a call if this is of interest to you uh, on the number I've just given you, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Um, if uh, if you want to see more vehicles like this, and of course if you um, if you can comment, like, share with your friends and family, please do so. Um, and the best way of getting hold of me, though, if you are interested in buying this car, is to call me on 07932 873 646, and I would give me a call as soon as possible if you are interested. I know these do not come around very often with this low mileage on them. I'm not expecting this car to be in stock for very long. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope that uh, is helpful and of interest to you. And we'll see you soon. Bye.